Hi, I'm Jonathan Banks from NADA Used Car Guide, bringing you an update for September's automotive market. Uncertainty in the economy has created challenges for the automotive market. New car sales barely topped 12 million SAR for August, and used sales declined by about 3%, according to CNW. Considering the tumultuous stock market and increased dissatisfaction with economic policy, new car sales can be considered a bright spot in our economy. Consumer confidence dropped to a two-year low during August, driven by the debt crisis debate and the dismal employment figures. The European debt crisis will continue to create challenges from a global economic perspective, and job growth in the U.S. will also be challenged, since corporations are re reluctant to hire. The consensus of most analysts is that unemployment will remain near 9% and GDP growth will be minimal. This means that automotive demand will not be stimulated by positive economic news in the near term. That being said, replacement demand for vehicles should keep the new car sales pace at today's levels, with many experts believing we should see some improvement in upcoming months if we aren't faced with any new economic challenges. The fact of the matter is that the pool of vehicles in the U.S. is aging, and consumers will be forced to purchase a replacement vehicle. Right now, consumers are choosing used vehicles over new. However, if incentives increase on new models, we should start seeing consumers moving into the new market. Used vehicle prices will help this shift since used prices for most segments are still showing strength. For example, even though we have seen declines on prices of small cars and mid-sized cars from the high points witnessed in late May and early June, car segments still show year-over-year -year increases of 15 to 20 percent on two to five-year-old models. In fact, according to AuctionNet data, prices in most segments are still in the black compared to last year's levels. The used market will continue to be strong since supply should remain constrained. The impact from the pullout of leasing in late 2008 has not been fully realized and NAD expects a shortage of lease returns to occur later this year and through 2012. Used supply should be beneficial for new vehicle sales since availability will be limited and used prices will continue to creep closer to new vehicle transaction prices. NADA's valuations moving into September reflect a strong market with adjustments showing declines below the expected seasonal depreciation for most segments. We do expect continued declines on small and mid-sized cars of about 2 to 2.5%, two which reflects the trends we have seen during the past few weeks. Trucks and SUVs are expected to outperform cars as supply remains limited for these models. During the fourth quarter, we expect the strength of the used car market to help fuel new vehicle sales, and we should see demand shifting back to the new market as incentives increase, primarily from Japanese manufacturers. Incentives on new vehicles are still relatively low for most segments, meaning that manufacturers still have the potential to drive additional sales without creating negative implications on brand strength, profitability, and used vehicle prices. For more information, please consult NADA's guidelines. Thank you.